Have you ever felt like a cover letter was another arbitrary document, or that it was redundant or a waste of time? After all, the employer already has your resume. Isn't that enough to see that you're qualified? It's common for job seekers to feel this way about cover letters, especially if they're approaching them wrong. A resume and cover letter are two distinct but complementary documents. While a resume gives employers data about your skills, education, accomplishments, and employment history, your cover letter tells employers how to interpret or explain what that data means. In other words, it's a valuable opportunity to provide context, explain why you're the best candidate for the job, and even convey subjective information such as your values, personality, and motivations. Don't waste your cover letter by regurgitating the same information that an employer can find in your resume. Instead, reinforce and strengthen your case by following this structure. First, before you start writing, you need to find your focus. Ask yourself, what are the top three selling points I want an employer to take away from my cover letter? While you may have more than three reasons that you believe you're the best candidate for the job, less is often more on your cover letter. There's limited real estate in a cover letter. So, it's better to make three well-developed and memorable arguments than it is to make a dozen weak and forgettable claims. The second step is more of a housekeeping step. It's to add your name and contact information at the top of your cover letter and start with a salutation. If you can find a name, then it's always best to address your cover letter to the person who will be reviewing the applications directly. However, if you can't find that person's name, you can use a salutation such as to the communications hiring manager, or you might even just write greetings. Now, your cover letter really begins. The first paragraph is your introduction, or hook. It's the first thing your employer will read. So, your goal is to catch their interest quickly and convince them to keep reading. Leading your cover letter with a canned or generic statement of interest will likely come across as ordinary, boring, or uninspired. For example, avoid leading with, I'm writing to you to express my interest in. Instead, consider leading with an accomplishment, a personal story, a unique skill, humor, or an explanation of where your connection to the employer's industry or brand started. The introduction can be anything that introduces yourself and states your interest in the position in an engaging but relevant way. Next, you'll want to transition quickly to the body of your cover letter. That is where you'll make your value proposition, which covers the unique skills and values you have to offer the job. Bring in the top three selling points you identified in the first step. When you present your value proposition, try to show rather than tell. Explain how specific accomplishments or work experiences match the job requirements. Avoid cliches or generic claims such as, I'm a hard worker, or I have a proven track record. Instead, give specific and measurable examples. You might even use bullet points to make your selling points stand out and draw your employer's eye, or borrow keywords from the job posting to make the connection clearer. Your first paragraph is your introduction. Your second, and maybe third paragraph, is your body. And now, your last paragraph is your conclusion. In the conclusion of your cover letter, provide a summary and call to action. Summarize and reinforce why you're a good match for the role and what unique skills or values you have to offer the team. End your conclusion by thanking the employer for their consideration and making a clear request to meet for an interview. Finally, End your cover letter with a closing and signature. Appropriate closings for a cover letter might include, sincerely, best regards, thank you, or looking forward to hearing from you. A cover letter is a powerful tool to connect the dots for an employer between your experience and the job qualifications. Don't squander it. Always tailor your cover letter to the specific job that you're applying for and use the structure above to catch an employer's attention and increase your odds of landing an interview.